Well, a battered watch, a red bandana. They are objects full of memories and meaning. Those items belong to the victims of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, and they played prominent roles this morning during the dedication of the new Memorial Museum in New York. It is honor for us to join in your memories, to recall and to reflect, but above all, to reaffirm the true spirit of 9-11, love, compassion, sacrifice, and to enshrine it forever in the heart of our nation. Our Brad Bell traveled to New York for today's dedication. He is live with reaction to the new museum. Brad? Well, it was a tremendous ceremony. It was emotional and moving, at times very, very somber, and at times uplifting. And that is certainly in keeping with the mission of this museum. It is a space unlike any other. It will hit visitors with its story, even as they descend 70 feet to the exhibit floor at bedrock level, right next to the staircase to safety for thousands who managed to get out of the World Trade Hawaii, Center. Then guests will Egypt. hear the voices of those so very people. On the day of September 11th, 2001, on September 11th, we were under attack. The museum is built around its largest elements, the last column, the towering steel beam which stood in place until the very end, gathering notes, photos, each a story of anguish and loss. There are thousands of artifacts, large and small. The so-called slurry wall, which against predictions stood firm against the pressure of the Hudson River. The watch worn by Todd Beamer as he stood firm against the terrorists and forced DC-bound Flight 93 to the ground. You can read the date. For some people, I think it's going to be a nice closure. Um, for others, I think, uh, it, you know, it's vital curiosity. Um, for me, I'm not sure yet. The general public won't be allowed in for another week. Even so, many are gathered near the memorial in the shadow of the new One World Trade Center tower. They say it is history that must not be forgotten. But it's something I think that needs to be cherished and thought of and remembered for my kids and their kids to come. Well, that is the whole idea, so that this country and the rest of the world really does not forget what happened on that day. Now, as we said in the story, the museum is not yet open to the general public. It won't be until the 21st. Until then, it is open only to family members and those first responders and rescuers who participated and worked here for so many months in the aftermath of that attack. In New York, Brad Bell, ABC7 News. Jimmy Autria, back to you.